Hey everyone, this is The Life Doctor here and I wanted to do a really quick video and address something that I've been observing. So if you follow me on Facebook or you are subscribed to my channel here on YouTube, then you are probably already aware that I'm in business for myself. Now, some of you may not know that I also teach online. Um, I'm a professor of psychology and a psychologist by profession. And so because I've chosen to stay home with my kids, um, the things that I do to earn a living include teaching online and then running a home-based business. So I'm saying all that to say that I spend a good amount of time on the computer, um, on the online platform. Um, in the virtual community. So, uh, you know, something that I have been observing has been a lack of etiquette um, online and on Facebook in particular. Now, I am not speaking to, you know, people that are on Facebook for social purposes only, although I do think that there is a level of etiquette that applies to those who are simply um, on that platform to be social but I'm specifically talking to other business owners so from business owner to business owner and there has been um, just some outrageous things that I've been observing on Facebook lately and I just wanted to share some common sense practical things that I think would be beneficial for all of us who you know use Facebook as a way to market our business socially um, as a social platform to kind of um, you know expose and brand ourselves etc so you know this is just gonna be really really quick number one is be mindful of what you are really trying to do as a business owner be mindful so if you are trying to promote your business, if you are trying to attract people to whatever it is that you're promoting, whatever service you are offering, then you have to present yourself in such a way that people will find you attractive. And so when you use particular type of language or when you say things in a type of way, that's going to come off um, in a certain way. and. The thing about marketing online or using Facebook, for example, um, which is a huge platform, a free platform that you can use to market whatever it is you're promoting, because we're not face to face, all we have to go on is what we write to each other. And so one rule that I use is I'm not going to say anything on Facebook to anyone or about anyone that I wouldn't say out loud or in person so if I wouldn't be comfortable saying XYZ face to face with an individual I'm certainly not going to write it because how much more careful should I be um, with the written form of communication with nothing verbal to help bring context to the situation then you know <laughs> then when I'm communicating on Facebook, I mean, if there's nothing else to help with the context, then I think that we should be super extra careful. Um, and so number two would be the golden rule. Now, we're all familiar with the golden rule. Do unto others as we would have them do unto us. What kind of language would you appreciate being given to you? What kind of you know, communication would you appreciate coming your way? Well, send that forward. I mean, you want to be perceived, I'm assuming, as professional, as polished. Um, at best, you want people to join your business or do whatever it is that you're doing, come on board. Um, but at the least, you want people to, add, to, to respect whatever it is that you are promoting and think of you and look at you in a positive light. And so, you know, when I go on Facebook and I read pe people's posts and these people I know are in business for themselves and I'm reading curse words or just reading things that are just vulgar or inappropriate or, you know, defaming or whatever the case is, my thought is, what is it that you're really trying to promote? What, what are you trying to do? 
So this is more of a reminder or an encouragement to those of us who are in business. Be careful about how you present yourself online. Be careful with the words that you choose to use in terms of what you type in, what you write, because the thing is, once you put it out there, it's out there forever. So if you've had a change of heart, if you've calmed down off of whatever emotional high you're on, too bad, too late. Whatever you've written is out there forever for the world to see. So carry yourself in a professional way, and I think that you will reap the benefits. All right, so I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that this was a good reminder for you, particularly for those of you who are in business for yourself and using Facebook and other um, online platforms is basically a big portion of bread and butter for us. So anyway, don't forget to thumbs up this video, share this video with fellow business owners, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.